James Dean's first season, from my eyes, was impressive, to say the least. Uh, This was his learning year with us. New team, new car, uh, new processes, and uh, of course, uh, we have some wild horses on the track. Um, I had very high expectations for James. He is absolutely one of the best, if not the best, uh, competitive drifter in the world. I was extremely impressed with how quickly he adapted. James from day one was on a constant progression. And I think he finished fourth overall in the championship and ended up on the podium in his final round at Irwindale after he was on his roof. So uh, it was really, really unbelievable. You know, his overall progression was just rapid and his tenacity and ability behind the wheel to adapt and push the vehicle and our team to their limits was really, really impressive. You know, going into the 2024 season with Chelsea stepping back from Formula Drift and James now moving into that lead driver position at RTR, um, you know, I'd be lying if I didn't say I was a little bit nervous. You know, I know James has the skill behind the wheel, but how is he, what's he going to do with leading the team, leading Ben, um, you know, at the events that, that I was not able to go to, which is six out of the eight. Heading into Long Beach, we we're ready to rock. New driver, Ben Hobson, and a brand new car for James Dean. Throughout media day, James was throwing down 100-point runs. It was just unbelievable right out of the gate until it wasn't. We experienced a massive fire that potentially would have put most teams out for the weekend, and our morale immediately hit rock bottom until we sparked some belief and made magic happen, and the team worked tirelessly for 48 hours to get James's car back together and ready for battle. Long Beach threw just about everything at us, fire, rain, you name it, but we came out on top. James did an unbelievable job of driving his Mustang RTR through the treacherous conditions. Long Beach is one of the hardest tracks ever to drive in the rain because of the city street. The oil comes up, the rubber is down, and it is extremely slick and just working through all the conditions and all the adversity. You know, starting the season off by earning a top spot in Long Beach sets the season up for unbelievable momentum and experience and accomplishment that only few ever have experienced. Heading into Atlanta, vibes were high, confidence was good, and this was one of the rounds that I was joining the team with. So we had three Mustangs on track. I had a lot of fun talking smack to Ben and James about putting them on the trailer. And unfortunately for me, it worked the opposite. Uh, James and I battled in the top 32. I went a little hot rod, blew off track, and just got a little crazy with it. And James got the win, knocking me out and went on to put on a clinic, driving our Mustang super hard, earning the third place spot. Just an unbelievable way to lead into the season. And leaving Atlanta, we knew our chances were great at chasing a championship for a serious, serious ability to bring it home. 